Welcome back to another Peace Way Mission video. So today guys, like no other, we're going to talk about a very good topic that can help us with just living and developing ourselves and just making us a better person. Today guys, I want to talk about discovering your purpose. Yes, this is a this is a topic that I'm really near that's really near and dear to me. Not only because, you know, I feel like discovering your purpose is really important, but because I'm also in the walk of discovering my purpose. I feel like I'm getting close, but at the same time, you know, I'm still, you know, kind of iffy on it. But, you know, there's steps and there's things that I took into account that I'm learning, that I'm, you know, practicing myself that helps me find my purpose. So since I'm practicing it, of course, I have to share it with you guys and try to uplift someone else that may be struggling with finding their purpose. So we're just going to jump right into it, guys. Before we do that, I want to make sure that you guys subscribe to this video if you're not already subscribed. Share this video because you never know how it can help someone else. And make sure you leave a comment. You know, I don't like just saying leave comments. Leave a conversation. Let's talk. Let's mingle. Let's talk about the topic and uplift each other. This is Peaceful Ambition. Thank you guys so much. for. So I just want to start by saying your purpose not is something that you need to find. It's more so that you need to discover it. God gave you your purpose from the time you were born, even before then. When he put you in your mother's womb, he already knows what your purpose is. He already knew what your purpose was. Now it's up to you to actually discover it, to bring it out of you. Your purpose is almost like a volcano that's just inside you, dormant. You know, it's always there and, you know, it can erupt at any time. But God makes sure that he makes it erupt when you're ready. So guys, remember that you may feel like you know I can't find my purpose I can't find my purpose and that's why it's not something that needs to be found it needs to be something that you discover so when you just start to discover things about yourself you know start to get to know yourself better your likes your dislikes your morals your values you really start to walk with that being said a lot of people say you know I don't even know what my passion is so how can I find my purpose so guys you want to remember that your passion can really have something to do with your purpose but they are two separate things. Your passion is, to me, this is just my opinion, your passion is something that you like to do for yourself that makes yourself happy, which in turn also can be your purpose. But with your purpose, you have to find a way to help others. And also, you know, you will like to make a living off of it. So if you're able to do that, that would be great. So, and you know, if you have a passion and you feel like it can turn into your purpose and it's something that you really want to do, then, you know, go for it. Don't let anyone talk you out of it. You know, like I said, your passion and your purpose, they can be different at the same time they can be the same as long as you feel like it's fulfilling you it's making you the person that you want to be and you're really helping other people and you know you feel like you're helping yourself in the universe then that may just be your purpose you know a lot of people say they found their purpose when they start really walking with God when they really found themselves so that's something to think about if you feel like you're not living in your purpose maybe there's things in life that you need to change maybe you need to get closer to God maybe you need to start reading more books so there's something within you that you need to bring out like I said it's a volcano that's already inside you you simply have to just find the key to you know make it erupt so you guys we're talking about finding your purpose today and I'm just giving a few you know clues pointers that can help you with finding your purpose and also just telling you guys what I what I'm doing right now to help find my purpose I'm still in the walk of finding my purpose I feel like I'm getting close but you know what one other thing that I want to bring up a lot of times you're saying you know why am I doing this job why am I doing this job that I hate that I feel like is not part of my purpose it's not that that job is your purpose but sometimes you know you're put in position is to help build your skills for your purpose so you know someone may work at a job when they're just making contracts all day they're writing letters all day and you know that may be something that they hate doing but later on they find out that you know their purpose is to be an author to write books and now they're like oh you know what all those same old emails I had to write or those same old letters that I had to write it was for a reason for me to learn how to write correctly and to walk in my purpose now, if you guys are catching yourself, you know, being in that job or just in any situation where you feel like you're not working towards your purpose, just remember that God knows the end game. God knows the beginning from the end, the end from the beginning. So, you know, he's working you towards that that end game. So you have to just keep on pushing, believe in him and believe in yourself that what you're doing is right. You're at the right place at the right time. He doesn't deter you away. No, there's no detours or nothing like that. Everything that he's doing is building you up for your purpose. So you have to remember that. Like I said, you know, writing contracts, writing books or, you know, whatever the case is, it's putting you to where, putting you to where you need to go. You just have to believe in the plan. Believe in the plan, God's plan. <laughs>
<laughs> and guys, just remember, when it when you feel like you know you found your purpose, don't let anyone talk you out of it. Don't even let yourself talk you out of it. When you feel that burning inside you, that volcano inside you that's ready to erupt, go with it. Don't run from it because that's fear. You know, or you know, your your fear of trying something. Different. So guys, it's okay to have role models. It's okay to have people that you look up to, especially if they're doing the same thing that you want to do. But you guys have to remember that never try to walk in someone's footsteps exactly. You know, you want to make your own path because it's your own purpose. No one has the same purpose. Even though it may look similar in some way, your purpose is for you because God made it for you. So you have to remember that. So guys, just make sure you stay prayed up. Make sure you continue to work hard. And also keep an open mind because just as much as you expect it to be your passion, to be your purpose, also expect it to be something that is totally not, <laughs> you know, life throws curveballs and sometimes you got to pick it up and you got to run with it. So guys, as long as you're working towards that end game and you know that God got your back and you got to have your own back, I think you guys will be perfectly fine. So guys, please make sure that you leave comments down below, share this video because you never know how I can help someone else. And I thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and you guys are all part of the Peaceful Tribe. I love you guys so much.